Welcome to Kirby Stephen Grammar School Sixth Form. And I can truly say I'm really proud to be head of this wonderful Sixth Form. I see the Sixth Form very much as part of a journey, a time where you find your own independent voice, your own unique set of skills and talents. And I feel privileged to be part of that journey and to help you on that journey. In the sixth form, it's a time when you make really important decisions, decisions that will affect the rest of your life, like what career path you want to take, whether it be a teacher, a doctor, or a nurse, or you're going into management or finance. And I want to be part of making those important decisions that will affect the rest of your life. I don't believe in authoritarianism. I don't believe in hierarchies of power. I believe very much in the student voice. Here at Kirby Stephen, we work together. We're a family with shared values and aspirations. And I really hope, as you watch this film, you'll see that we work together. We we'll all help each other. We don't let people fall by the wayside. And on that note, I'll hand over to our wonderful head boy, Isaac Clapham, and our equally wonderful head girl, Morgan Sowerby. Hello and welcome to the Sixth Form Common Room. The step up to Sixth Form is a big step, but it's definitely one of the best ones you could take. With this freedom comes responsibility for your own work though. You have to prioritise your time well, but this does become less of a chore and more self-rewarding. The Sixth Form Room itself is fully equipped with everything you need for your studies, from a printer to a kettle. Lessons too become more interactive. With smaller class sizes, it's much easier to talk to teachers about any issues. The relationship becomes one of respect. Every year, the Sixth Farm puts on the Christmas show, in which everyone gets together and shows each of their own skills and abilities to make a good show for the school. The Sixth Farm becomes a good family atmosphere. We all get to know each other and spend a lot of time together. We often arrange socials where we take days out and arrange fundraising discos, and every summer we have a sixth form prom. Now we're going to speak to the Share a Smile team about what they do in their sixth form. Hello. Hi. So we are the Share a Smile team, which is a project run by Eden Mind Charity, and it's a student-led project, and each year they do different tasks to improve the awareness and the being able to deal and handle with children's mental health. So this year we plan to renovate one of the medical rooms just to improve the atmosphere down near that area. And we're really passionate about this project and believe that it can really help improve the awareness as it's often really misinterpreted and overlooked in comparison to physical health. That sounds very interesting, thank you. Now we will go speak to some year 12s about why they decided to come to the sixth farm. Hello lads, why did you come to sixth farm? I came to Sixth Farm to expand my horizons in the hopes to go to Newcastle University to do history. What about you? Uh, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do after school, so I thought I'd come to Sixth Farm to keep my options open. That's good. Now, we've got Erin here, who came back from Carlisle College to come to this Sixth Farm. Why did you do that? I really missed the community atmosphere that I got from my GCC time here, and I thought that doing three A-levels was a lot better than just doing one specific course subject. So it's just nice to be back. Thank you very much. Now over to Ellie and Inigo. This is the A-Level Art Studio. A-Level Art allows you to develop an extensive range of creative and technical skills. You build up a very personal and continually evolving body of work. Tilly, what do you like the most about A-Level Art? My favourite thing about A-Level Art is that you have way more freedom compared to GCSE Art. In GCSE, you have a set paper that has specific titles in which you develop your project from that. But in A-Level Art, you have more freedom and you can make it more personal. Therefore, I've been able to develop a project which I've actually really loved. Thank you, Tilly. Over to Inigo. Thank you, Ali. Now I'm talking to Alex, who's doing a film course at university. So, Alex, how has art influenced your choice of course? Just being able to be really creative, working through a brief to get to a final piece has made me realise that I really want to do film at uni. That's great. What new skills have you learnt at Art A level that you would be able to apply to your future? Um, extensive research skills, um, just being creative in general, um, working with others and working independently, even something as simple as working with a camera. Thank you, Alex. Now back to you, Ellie. Thanks, Inigo. Now over to Morgan. What do you like best about A-Level Art? 
The best part really is the fact that we have so many resources available and even this space itself, we're allowed to come in here in our free time and just get on, mess around with whatever materials we want. It just makes it fun. Thanks Morgan. Now over to sociology. Well, as a postmodernist, I think that the nuclear family is the problem. Um, I do believe there's been some change, but I don't think it's been enough. Now I'm with Rensker in sociology. Sociology is a new subject in sixth form. Please, can you tell me what you do in sociology? It's quite a broad subject, really, but the main thing that we look at is society and how it runs and how different things impact it. We also look at the different perspectives, like Marxists or feminists, and how they think society runs and why it runs like that. And so in lessons, we'll do debates to get a further understanding of this. Thanks, Renska. Chloe, why did you take sociology? I was interested in looking into the deeper meanings of society and I've enjoyed crime and deviance and looking at why different people commit different crimes. I'm going on to university to study criminology and sociology and hopefully pursue a career in it. Thank you, Chloe. Now I'm in health and social care, which is another new subject for sixth form. Hi, Hannah. Hi. Um, could you tell me how health and social care could be applied to your future career paths? In health and social care, we learn about infection control and the different types of pathogens, such as viruses. And this would be transferable to my chosen uni class, which is veterinary nursing. That's great. Hi, Cara. Hi. Um, please, could you tell me what you enjoy most about uh, health and social care? I really enjoy that the course is split into coursework and exams, especially that the exams are split over two times, so we can really focus on them and get the grades that we need for university. Awesome. Now I'm going to hand over to Ellie. Jess is demonstrating an aseptic practice technique as part of her Unit 5 coursework, Infection Control. Welcome to the Sixth Form Common Room. Today I'll be talking to you about the tutorial lesson we have once a week to help us with applying to uni and careers for the future. Elspeth. What do you think about tutorial? Would you say it's beneficial for Year 13? I find tutorial very beneficial for Year 13, especially with our UCAS application, working on our personal statement and also learning about university life. Alex, what would you say is most helpful about our tutorial lesson? I think it's been really helpful having people come in from universities to talk about student life and finance. Caitlin, what do you think? It's very helpful about finding out about partnership schemes which help you get lower offers at university. And Alex, do you have any offers from university yet? Yeah, I've got an offer from Northumbria to do film production and in a couple of weeks I've got an online interview with Falmouth. That's very exciting. Isaac, do you have any university offers? I do, I've got three conditionals, one from Manchester, one from Leeds and one from Northumbria to study history. That's very exciting, well done. And now over to Elspeth. At KSG Sixth Form, we provide a range of enrichment courses. For example, Sports Leaders is our most popular enrichment course and offers 16 new cast points towards your university. It also provides a range of employability skills, such as communication, teamwork, self-management and self-belief. Ross, what have you enjoyed about Sports Leaders course? Uh, well, we organise a lot of events. For example, last year we organised a cross-country, which involved three other schools. Here at KSG Sixth Form, we like to maintain a good health and well-being by offering a weekly PE session. We have a range of activities such as football, badminton, dodgeball and a workout session. Louis, why do you enjoy PE? Well, it's just a great place to relieve some stress from all the hard work of A-levels that it brings upon us. How about you, Johnny? I just love playing football and getting away from everything for an hour just to get through A-levels. It's really helpful. Lovely. I'm here with Year 12 who are taking part in the Progression Module, helping them with their higher education. So Anna, what do you find beneficial about the Progression Module? So before I came up to Sixth Form, I already knew that I wanted to be a primary school teacher, so the Progression Modules really helped me look into universities and what options I have, and it also showed me how important work experience is, so I went on to get myself a placement at a local primary school, which I've really enjoyed and learned a lot from so far. It's brilliant. And Johnny, what have you done in the progression module? Well, at the minute, we've been doing about how to make a CV, which is really helpful because it helps you get a good job when you leave school. Thank you very much. Over to Mrs. Steeles. You know, the best type of learning is learning that comes from you. It's finding that fire in your belly, that commitment, that determination to want to do well. 
And I really hope in this film you've seen the fantastic students of Kirby Stephen Grammar School and you've seen that passion and that commitment and that determination. And I'm really looking forward to working with the new set of students, those of you from this school and elsewhere that will join us next September. I'm really looking forward to embarking with you on your own special and unique journey.